Hello, welcome to lesson 52. Link you part 5 method syntax in C sharp brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what is method syntax. Right now, without wasting much time, we'll understand what method syntax is. Before jumping into method syntax, we'll understand in the previous sessions, we learned to write a query using other type of syntax that is query syntax. Okay, let us uh, recall what all the things we learned in the query syntax. Uh, query syntax looks like an SQL commands or SQL syntax what you write to query and uh, resource in the list or a collection okay it is similar to like an SQL and it's very easy to write and understand also and the important thing is whatever the query syntax you write in your program will be converted into method syntax at the runtime that is the very important point to be known and you are in this session we are learning what method syntax is okay here are a few sentences related to method syntax it tells you like it uses lambda expression and the syntax it's present here and the order by select and group by let us examine all these key points when we code in visual studio right now we'll jump into visual studio and what, what i'll do is i'll just uh, remove all this piece of code what is present here and we'll write a query okay uh, using method syntax as well as query syntax as of now first we'll do with the query syntax and later we'll learn how to write a method syntax for example i'm having a integer of our array of integers here and the array name is numbers here i'm having few numbers like 5 10 8 3 6 and 12 through this set of numbers what i have to write a query is uh, I want to get a set of numbers which are divisible by 2. So I'll make use of the modulus operator. Modulus operator in turn gives us the remainder. So I'll compare that remainder with 0 and finally I'll select the numbers which are uh, matching that expression or ma matching that condition. Okay, that's what my query wanted to do. How do I write a query for that? Where I'll take the range variable or query variable, sorry, query variable as number equals and keep in mind all the query whether you write in a method syntax or query syntax it has to start with from keyword so I'll use from and the range variable I'll take as n in and the collection here is numbers this is the collection we are going to iterate numbers okay then I have to specify a condition if you want to specify a condition for the list uh, in order to query then we have to use var keyword then what is the condition it tells like n modulus of 2 comparator operator 0 it means that uh, every time this n will be these numbers 5 by 5 modulus of 2 yes obviously it is not uh, uh, the remainder will be 1 so it is not equal to 0 and that 5 will be eliminated and coming to next 10 10 modulus of 2 yes the remainder is 0 and it is compared with this or this 0 and finally it is pushed to the uh, console window on the output window you can see 10 okay similarly for 8 3 6 and 12 it will select the uh, particular number which is satis which is satisfying this condition okay sorry next is uh, I want to order them order by n okay this is like by default it is ascending order if you want you can specify like uh, descending as of now I will not do that and select select those numbers which are passing that condition okay my query syntax is ready let me mention a comment here telling that query syntax okay and how do I iterate this loop or this range variable uh, how do I print all the output all this uh, list of numbers which are satisfying this condition of the console I'll make use of uh, for each loop so I'll just uh, add a comment telling that output of query syntax and let me add a console dot write line telling that this is the output of query syntax okay now I'll make use of for each loop the where item name I'll take it as num and the collection here is I want to take this query syntax range variable okay query variable that is number I have to take this is the collection done now I have to print them on the console screen it's very simple I have to pass this variable num because all the result will be present in this num once it is iterated completely okay now when I run this program obviously I'll get output telling that 8 6 12 and uh, okay 6 8 10 and 12 are the numbers which are satisfying the condition which are satisfying these conditions okay I got the output as expected my query result also passed but uh, what if I want to write this query in the method syntax way it's very simple um, now I'll come here 
I would like to add a sentence telling that uh, method syntax comment a sentence syntax okay then before writing the method syntax we'll jump back into presentation let us see some of the important points to keep in mind when we write a method syntax okay uh, method syntax the first point is it uses lambda expressions to write a query this is most important point keep to keep in mind if you're writing a query in the method syntax link your query in the method syntax then must and should you have to make use of the lambda expression and the syntax looks like this you are the source collection we have to give and we have to use a var keyword to specify the condition whatever the uh, condition you have to specify to query against that list that list can that query that uh, condition can be specified using this var uh, keyword you are in this method syntax is an extension method coming from high numerable interface and the other similar things like order by select and group by let us examine all these key points when we code in visual studio right now we'll jump into visual studio and we'll write a query using method syntax var and i'll take it as nums nums method i'll take the variable query variable as num method equals then i'll as usual okay but the syntax we have to check it check out here what is the syntax see here you can observe the syntax it starts with the source collection okay and in this example what is the source collection we have the source collection is array of integers okay this is the source collection name so i have to take this then I have to specify a condition what I have to query for that particular collection okay I'll use var okay first of all what is this var this var is an extension method which is present in the enumerable interface okay now you are in this var I have to specify a condition what is the condition like uh, x goes to x of x modulus of 2 equal to equal to whether it is satisfying the condition Okay, comparable operator okay and I have to order them how do I order we have a extension method called order by telling that X goes to X sorry X okay this is my condition this is the very simple method syntax I wrote like uh, keep in mind when you write a method syntax you have to make use of two things one is this lambda expression what I've written here and also the extension methods called var and order by similarly we have other extension methods based on the query you write you will make use of these extension methods which are these extension methods present in i enumerable interface this also is present in the same i ordered enumerable interface okay and this is what we learned in this session now once i'm done with this what is my next objective i want to print the output so what i'll do um, telling that i'll add a comment just to save time I'll copy and paste this is method syntax okay then uh, I would like to add a sentence what is the syntax it will tell like output of method syntax okay then I'll use for each loop the var item name I'll take it as num num1 I'll take it as the collection here is this num method okay I'll paste this then I'll just print it on the console this num1 because all the result will be present there once it iterates completely okay you can observe here this is the query syntax and this is the method syntax okay now what I'll do I'll just run this piece of code you can observe telling like it will be having two things one is the output of query syntax 6 8 10 and 12 and the output of method syntax is also the same but the thing is the way of querying is different like in query syntax we'll use like SQL type structure but coming to method syntax will make use of lambda expressions and the extension methods which are present in the enumerable interfaces this is what the difference between method syntax and query syntax but coming to the output the output will be same the way of querying differs that's all and thank you for listening thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Anchor training below